everyone and welcome to this tour of the Stay City Apartments near Disneyland Paris. So this is by the company Stay City and it's like a hotel apartment. So there, it is a hotel but each room instead of like a room, it's like individual apartments. I've just actually stayed the night and I'm now on the way home but just needed to quickly do this intro. So I know they have more than just this one hotel, but this is specifically just at this one. It's the first ever time I've stayed here. I've never stayed at any of the other ones. This is the first time I've stayed like in one of these type of apartment hotel buildings. So firstly, I'm just gonna show you the room. Um, I'll give you a quick little room tour that I'll insert now, and then I will catch you back afterwards to show you a bit around the reception and just inside the hotel a little bit more. But for now, this is the front of the building. This is like the main building here behind me. This is where you go into reception and most of the rooms are in this building. But if I show you down the other way, down here, there is like a lot of different apartment style buildings. It's kind of a bit like a housing estate. Like there's, it looks like a load of different houses, but they're like hotel apartments. But for now, I will quickly insert that room tour and then we'll go check out reception. Welcome to our room here at the Stay City Apartments. And so far, it is really nice actually. So I'm just gonna give you a quick little tour of the room and show you around. So we'll start over here in the kitchen, which is just on the right as you walk in the door. And it has everything you would need to cook or make your own food here, it's got everything. So it has got its microwave up here, cupboard next to it, it has a cupboard full of plates, bowls, and even glasses, so you don't need to worry about bringing any of those. It even has wine glasses, coffee cups, and espresso cups. Over here we have the sink, which has a sponge, and washing up liquid, and all that sort of thing as well. We've got a coffee machine, a kettle, utensils, knives, spatulas, coffees. Over here is the hob, if you fancy doing a bit of cooking. I'm assuming maybe this is, yeah, a fridge in here. Oh, there's milk in it. In this one we have spoons, forks, knives, a grater, oven glove, kitchen towel. In the bottom one is the broom. And then in here, oh, the toaster's in here. We have a toaster, a colander, and then this is, oh my gosh, it even has a mini dishwasher. Well, fancy that. Next to the kitchen, we also have this cupboard. And in here, you will find it's a bit of a storage cupboard. So we've got a nice big spacious shelf up the top, a coat rack with some coat hangers. And then down here, we even have a mop, a dustbin and a broom. Then if you follow me this way, this is the way to the bathroom. So this is what the bathroom looks like. There is a nice heated towel rail with a couple of towels on there. We've got a toilet, um, a couple spare toilet rolls up there. And then over here, we have got the sink, a little shelf and a little light up mirror. Then over here is the bath and shower. The whole room is like in this gray big tiles and it makes it look very, very fancy and posh. This is actually a very, very large bathroom. I mean, as far as bathrooms go, this is actually a very nice one. It is very, very spacious, a lot of space in here, smells nice, and yeah, as far as bathrooms go, it's a nice bathroom. Into the main living area now, on this left-hand side here is a cupboard, and inside we've got an iron and a hairdryer, a safe, and then we even have an iron board and some extra bedding for the settee. We've got two grey like sofas here and they actually turn into little beds. They even left a little how-to information booklet which is quite handy. And then over this way, I've just got my stuff piled on here, but a little coffee table and then we've got a yellow chair which my yellow suitcase blends in with. And then over here, a long full-size mirror and then up this way, we have quite a big, decent sized TV, which is amazing. Carrying on this way, we have a table with three dining chairs and two windows, which is very nice. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite bits. But for now, let me just quickly show you 
out the window. It is quite dark outside, so you can't see a whole bunch, but this is kind of what it looks like. All these like individual like apartments. It kind of reminds me of houses. It's kind of like, it's kind of like I'm on a housing estate, but like the little apartments. But anyway, let me show you my favorite bit. So I'm just gonna turn around. And on this side of the room, there is a staircase because up here is the bed. The bed has an upstairs. Like the room has an upstairs and I can sleep up there. Sleep upstairs, living room downstairs. It is basically an apartment. So let's head on upstairs and I will show you what the bedroom looks like. So upstairs, there is a big old double bed. It is a nice, decent size, four pillows. We've got a couple of side tables, a couple of lamps. We've even got a fan in the corner over there. And then above us here, we have a nice skylight. So in the morning, that should look quite pretty with the sky shining through. And then if I'm in bed, say, I sit on bed and look at this. I have a little railing at the end of the bed. And I can look on downstairs, look. If anyone's sitting down there, I can be like, oh, hi, you're right down there. But I just think it's really cool how it has like a little upstairs and downstairs. Isn't this fun? So that concludes our little room tour here at Stay City. I'm actually gonna go have a little look around the hotel now and have a bit of a look around. I hear there's a swimming pool, though it's not open because it's currently winter. There's like an arcade, a games room, a little restaurant or a bar. So we're just going to go have a look around there. But for now, this is what one of the rooms here look like at Stay City. So when you walk into the hotel here, this is the reception desk. That is where you check in over there. You check in any problems you have or anything you need, you go to the reception desk. Um, they don't have daily cleaners here. So if you need any um, towels or any bins emptying, you have to go to the reception desk down here. Um, that's just where we came in. That's the entrance there. Reception is basically everything you need. For check-in, check-out, and anything you need, this is the reception desk. So opposite reception, you actually have a little shop. So as you can see, they've got a lot of sweets and chocolates. They have some drinks over here, waters, sodas, beers. They also have a little end section here that has like charges, deodorants, toothpaste, things like that, crisps, cereals, and yeah, more, more crisps and things like that. And it's like a self-serve thing. So the card machine is just here and you just kind of scan and pay as yourself. end of my little tour of the Stay City Apartments here and near Disneyland Paris. I really hope you found the video very informational and helpful to you. There are a few different types of room here. I think there's like three or four different types of rooms, but this is, I like this one. This is fun because it has the little upstairs. I really think that's fun. It, as I said at the beginning of my video, this was my first time ever staying at this hotel and any of the Stay City hotels. So I just thought I'd quickly give you my little review on what I thought of it. So, especially for the price, this apartment is so spacious and I'm pretty sure that they're all going to be pretty spacious. As I said, I've only stayed in this one. But this particular one with the upstairs is very spacious, it's very open plan, it's got a fully equipped kitchen, the bathroom's very big actually. And then you've got the fun stairs and the bedroom, the telly. It's just amazing. If you are thinking of coming here, I would definitely recommend it. And it's only 10 to 15 minutes drive from Disneyland Paris. So if you are planning on going to Disneyland Paris, that's only 10, 15 minutes drive, but they also do a free shuttle bus service. 
I'm not sure of the timings, but they did say they had one that goes to and from the parks every single day. So if that's an option for you as well. Even compared to the cheapest Disney hotel, say Santa Fe or Davy Crockett, this apartment complex is a lot cheaper than a Disney one. Even if you were driving and you have to pay parking now at Disneyland Paris, even if you included the parking fees every day, added it on top of the stay here, it would still be cheaper than the Disney Hotel. So that is something to consider. Overall, I just very much enjoyed my stay here. The bed was comfy as well, or didn't actually use any of the kitchen appliances, but it's nice to know they were there. And the hotel itself, everyone at reception was so friendly and helpful. They were very lovely, actually. They have a little arcade downstairs, which little brother very much enjoyed a seating area there. There was a restaurant. I didn't get to check out this visit, but they did have one. And then the pool that is obviously open in the summertime. So no swimming for me in the winter, but that is it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm now heading off to a Disney hotel actually for a few nights. So I will be making sure to do a tour of that and my Disney vlogs are coming soon. That's all for today. I hope you have a lovely week. Take care and I'll hopefully see you soon.